Anytime you make life a la mode, things just start getting a little bit better. Why? Because a brownie's good, but it's better together when partnered with some ice cream. Peach cobbler is delicious, but it's better when partnered with a, hel- a, a large scoop of vanilla ice cream. Somebody, I am preaching better than you are responding this morning. I'm talking about ice cream. It's good by itself, but it's better together. Somebody say better together. What I want you to know this morning is just like a brownie is better with some ice cream, we as people are better together. We are better together. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter, verse 9, it says two are what? Better than one. See, when God created the heavens and the earth, He looked at every aspect of his creation, Sean, and he said, it is what? Good. He looked at the sky. He said, oh, that's good. He looked at the sun and the moon and the stars. He said, that's good. He looked at the birds flying in the air. He said, that's good. He looked at the fish swimming in the sea. He said, that's good. He looked at the chickens going around. You got some chickens in your coop. He looked at those things, and he said, that is good. He created the pig. He said, that's good, and one day my people will fry up some bacon, and that will be very good. But every aspect of his creation, when God looked at it, he said, it is good. But when he created man and placed him in the garden alone, God stops. He pauses, and as he looks at man there, He says, this is not good. It's not good for man to be alone. And so God began to bring all the animals to Adam, and he allowed Adam to partner with him in making names for these animals. But he said within all these animals, he did not find a suitable companion. And so God created for Adam woman. He created for him Eve to be a companion, to be a helper, to be a partner in life. And the big idea is this. We were created and designed by God for community. And so it doesn't matter if you are married or single or dating. You need to understand that you were designed by God for community. Community, And that's why it is important for you to find people around you that have some good quality so that you can benefit one another. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Because so someone in here, you may say, well, I'm single. Does that mean I, that, uh, that I'm going to be unfulfilled? No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with needing to get married. It's all about needing good quality people in your life, whether you remain single for the rest of your life or whether you find the the man or woman of your dreams, you need people in your life. And that's why the church, the body of Christ, is so very important because we are a community of believers that gather together, we love one another, we strengthen one another, and we pray for one another, and that is necessary for our life and for success. If you want to see failure in your life, learn to isolate yourself. Because as soon as you isolate yourself from good quality people, you're opening yourself up for all kinds of attacks. The enemy will come in and start feeding your mind all kinds of nonsense, all kinds of negative stuff. The Bible says that he goes around like a lion, like a roaring lion. What is he doing? Seeking whom he may devour. Do you know who he's looking for? He's looking for the one who's strayed away from the pack because they're the weak link. They're the one that is vulnerable. And so when you're isolated and you're alone, you allow all kinds of negative thoughts to come into your life. But when you have community, you have people that can say, hey, that's nonsense. What you think and what you feel is nonsense. You feel like you're nothing. You feel like you're a nobody. But the truth is, Vicky, you are. I like that. Vicky. I just named you Vicky. Those that know you well call you Tory, or when you're in trouble, you're Tory. But now you're Vicky. Vicky, you may feel like you're less than, you may feel all this negative stuff, but when you have a group of believers around you, a good quality people, they can say, No, 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 you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a beautiful 
person. You are lovely in all of your ways. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We can strengthen one another, and that is extremely important. The Apostle Paul was a single man. He never got married. But I want you to see what he says in Romans, the first chapter. Verse 11, he's talking to the church there, and he says, For I long to see you. Get that. It's my desire to come and see you. But why, why is it so important that Paul comes and sees the people in Rome? He says that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to what? To strengthen you. But not only that, verse 12, he says that is that we may be mutually, somebody said mutually, mutually encouraged by each other's faith both yours and mine. Paul's saying we need each other. There's something in you that I need. There's something in me that you need. That's the whole idea and concept of us being a body. In Christ, we are one body, and we feed and we supply and we strengthen one another, and you are valuable. I want you to know that every person sitting in this place, every person watching online right now, every person listening to this podcast, I want you to know that you are valuable and I need you because God has placed something inside of you that I need. 